you're still here. For a reason, too. You've got something to do. Accomplish, learn, contribute. You're still here. You've got much to give. You were born with a purpose and endowed with the seeds of greatness. Someone said to me recently, not everyone deserves a participation award. Very true. Here's what I know. You were born with a special set of gifts, skills, and abilities that are unique to you. Are you using them? Are you wringing out the joy of each day? You know how a recipe will call for the juice of a lemon? You cut it in half and then you squeeze as hard as you can until the lemon's totally wrung out. You never just give a little squeeze and then toss the lemon into the trash. No, you squeeze and you squeeze until you get it all. So are you squeezing the life out of life? One day my daughter and I were driving home. She was about eight or nine. As we passed a huge sand pile that was at the state road department, she said, oh, I've always wanted to climb that. Right then and there, I pulled a U-turn and went right back to that sand pile. She sat there stunned and she said, what are you doing? I put the truck in park and I turned to her. I said, go climb that pile all the way to the top. Never say I've always wanted to do something. Do, do what you want in this life. Her huge eyes got even wider. She unbuckled and she raced to the pile. She got to the very top and threw her little arms into the air. Well, that little girl went on to travel the world alone with her arms in the air. She's been all over Europe, even spent a winter volunteering in an orphanage in Cambodia. What have you always wanted to do? Try, become, or have. Imagine it's 5, 10, 20, or more years down the road. Would you tell your younger self to climb that sand pile? Or would you just sit in the car? You're still here. Find out why. How? It's easy. Do. Ring the life out of life. Like Les Brown says, when death finds you, it'll be conquering a new mountain in your life, not sliding down an old one. You're still here.